Hi guys, welcome to Beautifying Creatify and let's get right into the tutorial. I'm starting with prepping my skin using Erno Laszlo Cleansing Duo which consists of cleansing oil and a soap bar to clean the skin. I applied the oil on dry face and then massaged wet soap bar directly on my skin. After washing it off, I'm going to use Hydrofel Skin Supplement as a toner. Then I used Firmarin Moisturizer to finish prepping my skin. Today I'll be using Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer to prime my skin and I'll be concentrating most of the product on the areas with relatively bigger pores to fill them in. Next, using Tarte Under Eye CC Corrector, I'm going to conceal dark circles under my eyes. I like to apply it with my fingers since it warms up the product and makes application smoother. Look how much difference corrector makes in erasing dark under eye area. Here is before and here is after. Next, I'm applying Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation with Motifs Cosmetics brush and blending it into my skin. Then, using LA Girl Pro Concealer, I'm going to highlight areas of my face where the light normally hits. I blended everything using my damp beauty blender. I'm going to grab some airspun loose powder to set my concealer heavily and let it sit for a little bit until I finish my eyes. Now I'm filling in my brows with Tarte Brow Mousse in medium brown and cleaning it up with Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting pencil. After blending it out, I'm going to use Motif's eyeshadow in liquid to set my brow bone area. When applying concealer earlier, I used it on my lids too in order to prime them, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply Summer Fling by Motifs on my crease with Luxie Beauty 205 brush. Next, with Boudoir from Motifs, I'm going to create semicircle right below my crease. Blend any harsh edges. Now using another Motifs shadow in Stellar, I'm going to wet my brush and apply the shadow on the center of my lid and lower lash line. Then with my Lexi 205 brush, I'm grabbing the same shadow dry and applying it around my crease to soften up the transition. I decided to add some warmth to the look with Motif's Hot 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 eyeshadow by adding it to the crease and lower lash line with a blending brush. Now line the waterline and add a winged liner. I'm using my favorite Tarte's Double Take Eyeliner to draw a winged liner. Apply your favorite lashes and don't forget to conceal the lash band with your liner. Add mascara to the lashes and the eyes are done. Now I'm going to brush away all loose powder from my face and using Benefit Hula Bronzer, I'm adding some warmth to the perimeter of my face. Next, with Tarte Blush in Seduce, I'm adding some color to the apples of my cheeks. And of course, let's not forget the highlighter. I'm using Jouer in Citrine. I'm also adding some highlight on my cupid's bow and bridge of the nose. For the lips, I decided to go dark for fall, so I'll be using Motifs Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in Blackberry. And the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also connect with me on other social media outlets and comment below what you'd like to see on my channel next. I'll see you later. Until then, stay blessed.